The Hittites were one of the most influential civilizations of the ancient Near East, flourishing during the second millennium BCE in Anatolia, in what is now modern-day Turkey. They were among the earliest peoples to speak an Indo-European language, written in cuneiform. In fact, Hittite is the earliest attested Indo-European language we know of. The Bible also preserves memories of the Hittites. In the Old Testament, they are mentioned frequently. Abraham is said to have purchased the cave of Machpelah from a Hittite named Ephron, and King David had a loyal soldier named Uriah the Hittite. While these references may not always point directly to the imperial Hittites of Anatolia, the name survived long after their empire fell, applied to related groups and neo-Hittite states in Syria and the Levant. By the late 12th century BCE, during the widespread Bronze Age collapse, the Hittite Empire itself disappeared, though neo-Hittite states lived on in southern Anatolia and northern Syria. For this video, I've gathered the raw genomes of two late Bronze Age samples from central Anatolia that are very likely connected to the Hittites, offering us a genetic window into this powerful ancient people. One characteristic feature of Hittites that separates them from Copper Age inhabitants of Anatolia is the presence of Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry mediated through steppe. This PADA model finds 14% Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry in these two Hittite samples. The dominant component, however, is the Anatolian farmer component, which comprises 56.6% of their ancestry. They also have sizable Iranian Neolithic and Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestry. I ran another model on these Hittites to determine the exact step admixture in these samples. They score 28% step, which is actually higher than even some southern Europeans. When step is accounted for, the portion of Caucasus ancestry also decreases significantly. According to FST analysis, the closest modern ethnicities to these Hittites are the Lebanese, followed by Turks, then Armenians, South Italians, Greeks, and Bulgarians. According to G25, the closest ethnicities to them are Cypriots, Greek Islanders, and Anatolian Greeks. I ran these two samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The first sample, MA2200, scored medium brown eyes, black hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair, and Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and warrior, lactase persistent, to have less D2 receptor sites, higher odds of autism, lower empathy, intermediate odds of cardiovascular issues, lower odds of epithelial cancers, intermediate odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate homocysteine levels, no color blindness variants, lower odds of obesity, and blood type O or A. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's disease, Jacob Kreutzfeldt, FHC, Pfeiffer syndrome, FTAAD, Hirschsprung disease, dwarfism, familial Mediterranean fever, hyperkeratinemia, ichthyosis, spina bifida, and muscular dystrophy. With beta-calc, he scored particularly high for odds of bipolar disorder, hypertension, lung cancer, schizophrenia, and skin cancer. He scored low for odds of Alzheimer's, anxiety, asthma, colorectal cancer, and depression. Now let's move on to MA2203. She is predicted to have medium brown eyes, dark brown hair, lightest brown skin, straight hair, and an even score for Greek and snub nose shapes. She was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and warrior, lactose intolerant, to have less D2 receptor sites, intermediate odds of autism, lower empathy, intermediate odds of cardiovascular issues, low odds of epithelial cancers, low odds of autoimmune disease, low homocysteine levels, no variants for colorblindness, low odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, beta thalassemia, Fabry disease, and Lefermini. With beta-calc, she scored high for odds of alcoholism, anxiety, autism, bipolar disorder, heart attack, multiple sclerosis, skin cancer, and type 2 diabetes. She scored low for odds of Alzheimer's, colorectal cancer, esophageal cancer, mental illness, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, and serum iron levels. You can purchase both samples from the link in the description. Links to purchase my tools and services will also be in the description.